go. We're going to delete that one. All right. Y'all y'all finding me. Y'all finding me. Y'all finding me. Here we go. So let's jump right into this, okay? Um, Let me say this. Um, Thank you, Jessica. Thank you, Jessica. Girl, I got to get... um. I, I got to get serious about this weight loss, though, because I am picking up the pounds every week, child. But, um, and I've come too far to go backwards. But, um, so, yes, today we are talking about changing the mentality uh, when it comes down to sex. Because I always tell people, when you come in and you ask me something, this is just a matter of my opinion. And my opinion is going to tell you to do things that's going to create peace in your relationship, okay? Because... For me, in order to be happy in a relationship, you got to have peace in that relationship. And you can't have peace if you arguing and bickering with each other. And the last thing I want to argue about is some damn sex. Like, I don't want to argue. I, I mean, like, if I'm arguing about something, I want it to be something serious. And sex can be very serious. I'm not making light of it. But what I'm saying is sometimes we create issues for ourselves in relationships, Okay. But one issue that you don't have to create is sex, okay? Let me tell you something. When you're courting a person, it is very important. I tell my children all the time, courtship is so important. Because during the courtship, you get to know the person. You get to know their family. You get to know their background. You get to know, you know, about them and, uh, you know, their views and philosophies on different stuff. Because believe it or not, at some point in a relationship, all that shit going to show up. It's going to show up. So that's why the courtship is so important. And it's so important that you're honest in the courtship. And you ask certain questions in the courtship. Because let me tell you something. If you a man. And you know you like this so nasty, freaky, dirty type of sex. And then you go and get this woman. And I'm not saying nothing wrong with a wholesome woman. Okay. I ain't saying that. But sometimes because she hadn't been around the block a few times. It's a lot that she don't know. Okay, unless she maybe read or maybe educate herself in certain type of ways. But nine times out of ten, if you're a certain type of man and you go after this certain type of woman that's very conservative and uh, very reserved and all of this kind of stuff, you can't get upset when they show up in the bedroom. You, this is what you went and picked. Am I right? What I'm saying is you have to be honest during the courtship and you got to get somebody that's going to be able to take care of you in all different areas of the relationship. Okay? Not just in one or two areas because it, it takes a whole lot to make a relationship work. Okay? So let me get to the question that was sent to me. Um, the lady basically sent the question and she says that, and I want to um, read it verbatim. Good afternoon, Miss Parker. I have a question or maybe something like a concern. Okay. Is it wrong for me not to want to perform oral sex on my husband all of the time? Okay, here's the situation. I feel like my sex isn't good enough for him because he gets an attitude if I go longer than a week without oral. I mean, it feels like... Let me see. Let me, let me make sure I'm reading this here. I mean, it feel like that is not an every every time we have sex thing. If it happens, okay. Just like I don't expect for him to give me oral sex every time we have sex. Which we have sex every day. So when he gets an attitude because I'm not pleasing him orally, it makes me feel like a whore because I'm not in the mood all the time. Okay, let, let, let me start with the mentality, Okay. It ain't nothing that I can do in the bedroom with Spencer Parker that's going to make me feel like a whore. It just ain't going to happen. Because I understand that when I lay down with you and I'm being intimate with you, we are in this to please each other. So I ain't got to feel like no hoe when I'm in the bed and the only thing I'm trying to do is please you. Okay? If you have uh, expressed to me that you enjoy oral sex, then as your wife, I have an obligation to make sure that when we complete doing all that we're doing, that I done sucked your dick up in there at some point in time or another. Because you done told me that's what you like. And if I'm coming to the bedroom with you, then I'm coming to please you. 
and vice versa. So if I told you, oh, you know what pleases me? What pleases me is when you choke me and slap me on my ass and all of this kind of stuff. Well, yeah, we could be having some nice romantic sex, but at some point in time, I'm going to need you to put me in a motherfucking chokehold. Hold me tight. Make me feel like I'm about to lose my breath or something because I told you that's what I like. See, we have to remove self from this equation. Because when we are in the bedroom together being intimate, our goal is to please each other. It ain't about you and, and what you like and what you don't like and what you... No, 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 no. This is about doing what I got to do to make sure that you please and to make sure I'm keeping peace in my relationship. Y'all should not be into it over getting no dick sucked. I'm, I'm just sorry. Putting a, putting a little dick in your mouth every now and then should not have y'all arguing. And it damn sure shouldn't have you feeling like a whore. What you won't do, the next one will. I was told a long time ago by an old woman. You make sure you feed your husband before he go out there in them streets. Because see, when you leave, when you send him out there in them streets and you send him out and he's starving, he will eat from anywhere. Oh, but baby, if you make sure he full before he leave out your door, he will pass up his favorite meal because he didn't already ate. You got to apply that to your everyday life, even in your sex life. You have an obligation to make sure that your spouse is being pleased. And he shouldn't have to get an attitude about you sucking no dick. Baby, if, if that's what you like, when your eyes open up in the morning, that dick going to be in my mouth. Before the sun go down, I'm going to make sure that dick has been in my mouth at some point of the day if I know this is what you like. If I know this is what keeps you satisfied. I don't have no problem with doing what I got to do to keep you satisfied. But the problem is the mentality that the person has. If you go in this shit feeling like, hoes suck dick and my husband want me to suck dick. So that means he got me doing shit hoes do. Then yeah, that's the mentality you're going to have because that's how you came into the, the bedroom with that mentality. But if your mentality is, I'm only coming into this bedroom to please you. Then you're not going to feel like a whore. You're going to feel like, you know what? I'm handling my duties as a wife. I have, a, I have an obligation as a wife to make sure that my husband is pleased sexually. And I enjoy pleasing him. So guess what? I'm going to suck his dick gladly. I'm going to be delighted to suck his dick. I'm going to come up with all kind of different creative ways to suck his dick. I'm going to decorate the dick. I'm going to turn the dick into a, a fucking banana split. Oh, I'm going to be so creative. Because all I want to do is think about different ways I can suck his dick because I want to make sure he's happy. And it goes the other way around as well. Meaning that if you're doing the things to make him happy, he's going to do the things to make you happy. And the things that make you happy may not even pertain to sex. It may pertain to some other things in your life. But he's doing what he got to do to make sure that you're pleased in those areas. So it's a, it's a two-way street. Okay, and I know a lot of times when I do these videos, I come in and I have the props and the toys and all of this kind of stuff, but we can't get to that part if the mentality is all messed up. If the mentality is jacked up and it's not a sex positive attitude, then we can't even get to the fun stuff. You know, you have to, you, you got to, you know, ask certain questions in the beginning before you start marrying people. Because I see a lot of times people get married and I, I love to see uh, people happy together and weddings and all of that kind of stuff. But some of these brides that I do parties for, I honestly ask myself, who in the fuck about to marry them? Because they signing up to be unhappy. You know, just because you meet people, that don't always mean that they're going to be a good fit for you and what you want in life. And you have to know that from the beginning. See, you shouldn't be in a marriage at this point and this what y'all arguing about. Y'all was supposed to figure this shit out before y'all said I do. You were supposed to know that he like that dick in your mouth every day before you said I do. And when you said I do, you was basically saying I agree to put that dick in my mouth every day because I know this what you like. But a lot of times, you know, like I said, we create issues for ourselves. You know, we, we create a lot of problems for ourselves. So, I hope this answered your question, ma'am. And in my response, and again, this is only my opinion. 
My opinion is you do what you do to keep peace in your marriage. And if keeping the peace in your marriage requiring you to put that dick in your mouth, bitch, you come up with some different ways to put that dick in your mouth and you be glad about it. You be delighted. You smile when you do it. You have a positive attitude and you let him know, guess what, baby? I know you like to get your dicks up. So my desire is to come up with all different creative ways to tend to this dick on a regular basis. And that's what you do. And you do it with a fucking smile on your face because that's what being a wife is. So you all enjoy your day. Y'all make sure you come and see me here at the PPG store. Make sure you come and do your shopping. Um, got all kind of lingerie and all kind of different stuff to, you know, keep it spiced up and, uh, you know, to keep your bedroom on fire and all of that. Because that kind of stuff is important. Y'all, we live in a very stressful time. You know, shit ain't like it used to be a long time ago. So we got to have ways to relieve ourselves, baby, you know. And ain't nothing like uh, uh, relieving yourself, uh, ain't nothing like a good fucking, you know. Somebody to put that dick down on you real good. Or somebody to throw that puss on you real good. So come over here to the PPG store and let me take care of you if you are out of town. Because I know I have a lot of um, out of town people. Make sure you go check out the website, www.thepgstore.com. Um, and I think that pretty much wraps it up. I enjoyed my birthday weekend. I basically had to cancel the uh, Dukes and Boots. I didn't get enough participation. Um, and I just feel like if I'm renting a bull, I have entertainers coming. I'm barbecuing and I'm providing the drinks. I don't want to put a big event like this together for people not to support it. So normally, you know, y'all come and y'all show up and show out for my birthday. But this year, you know, y'all was a little slow on the ticket sales. So I refunded everybody back their money. They bought tickets. And... I basically went and enjoyed myself with my family and, you know, my husband and stuff like that and shit. I enjoyed myself. Went on Bourbon Street. Went to Bourbon Cowboy. And I even thought about putting a, um, a party bus ride together because I think, you know, maybe the women might enjoy um, riding a party bus and going out there to Bourbon Street Cowboy and riding a bull because I definitely enjoyed it. I enjoyed myself. And I'm going to tell you something. I just could not believe that I enjoyed the country music as much as I did. I really enjoyed the country music. I really enjoyed the environment. And I enjoyed the outfit that I had on, even though I had a bitch on my Instagram who was hating child. And she said that I just should not have put that on, that I was all out of order. And my friends obviously didn't like me. Well, bitch, let me tell you something. Fuck a friend. Because if you know anything about Sharonda Parker, I ain't got too many friends. But I love me and Spencer Parker show and I have a problem with it. So, y'all enjoy the rest of y'all day. I'm going to see y'all Wednesday for Sex Talk with uh, Sharonda. And I'm going to be pulling out the dick extensions because a lot of y'all don't even believe that they exist. So, I'm going to have to show y'all. Dick extensions are real. They do exist. So, I'm going to be pulling out the dick extensions and showing the men how to use them. Because, you know, dick extensions can really, if you got erectile dysfunction issues and stuff like that, they can really, really help you. Um, in the bedroom or if you're not comfortable with your size and you want to you know increase your length or your girth um they can be really helpful with that now let me tell you something if you got somebody with a nice size dick already and you go and get the dick extension it's gonna feel like you're birthing when i say birthing meaning every time that dick pull in and out of you it's gonna feel like you are giving birth ask me how i know because i it felt like i was giving birth i decided um i said well Let's get this uh, toy called a fat boy. Because I just believe in trying everything, you know, a lot of times before I put it in the store. So I got the fat boy and my husband put it on. Okay. So let me just say this. My husband don't need no dick extension. But I just wanted to see what, you know, like I wanted to get fucked with one because I wanted to see if there was a difference in the real thing versus the extension and so on and so forth because I'm the guinea pig, right? How I can tell you about a dick extension if I've never been fucked with one? So my husband puts this dick extension on and it made his dick so fucking fat. It felt like he was pulling a baby arm in and out of me to the point where I told him, please take it out, please take it off. Because every time you thrust in and out of me, it feel like I'm giving birth to a fucking limb. So, if you have a man that is, you know, well endowed, he has a nice size, and you decide to put the dick extension on him, 
you're gonna have a birthing experience, okay? That's what you're gonna, that's what I call it. So if you ever see me on my Facebook saying I don't like baby arms, I'm talking about I don't like baby arms because that's how the dick felt. Like he had a fucking baby arm inside of me. You know, you don't want your wall stretched out um the diameter two inches, 2.53 inches. That's that's like that's literally like this big around inside of you. That's that's it was strenuous on my pussy. It was very strenuous, and I just could not take it. So I was like, baby, please take it out, pull it out. I can't take this because this is too 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 girthy. It was too too thick. So you know, um, some of y'all men tend to like to be greedy, and y'all want to make it extra 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 large. I don't know. She might enjoy it, but y'all know if you see me on Facebook saying that I don't like a baby arm, I'm speaking from experience. Okay, so. That concludes Sex Talk with Sharonda. Y'all enjoy y'all Monday. Come see me here at the PPG store. Uh, come book your party. Uh, we're currently booking for October, November, and December, and 2019. So if you have uh, been proposed to and you know your wedding in 2019, you need to be booking that date like ASAP. I was just in the uh, Tony Seafood today, and the woman was asking me about dates, and I was letting her know, baby, we got dates booked for 2019 already. So... A lot of times y'all thinking, you know, you waiting, but really, you know, you should have your party booked through the six months in advance if you want me to host it because I have a life outside of this and I travel a lot. Okay. So with that being said, uh, you may book a date and I didn't plan the trip and I'm not saying that you can't have your party. I'm just saying that I won't be able to host it. So don't wait till the last minute because I normally plan my trips and all the stuff that I'm doing around the dates that people have booked. So if nothing is booked, I feel like, oh, it's not booked. Let me let me enjoy my life and live my best life. So once my flight is booked, then, you know, I'm not saying you can't have a party because I have staff here that can host for you. I just won't be able to host for you. Okay? Enjoy your day.